So first things first, um, congratulations. Congratulations on your um, offer from BCG. Um, so um, if I remember correctly, you have uh, essentially applied as an experienced candidate to the Middle East office of, of BCG, right? In Dubai. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Cool. So, cool. Um, it was it was a bit of a journey, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. But there was there was this demand for this particular kind of expertise, which mm -hmm. uh, which um, had to be fulfilled. And um, I was I was there. I guess I was there in the right place at the right time. Yeah. 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 So, um, I mean, uh, since you're not exactly a graduate, right, so um, your process seemed pretty uh, customized along the whole journey, right, in terms of the different rounds of calls that you had, uh, of, of, of formal interviews that you had uh, with different senior leaders of the practice, right? So uh, how, how have you experienced this whole process? How would you describe it? Um... I would say it was coming from a non-consulting background. It was obviously different to everything else I've experienced in terms of mm -hmm. the hiring process and in terms of the sheer number of interviews that you have to go through. Yeah. How many interviews did you do in the end? Uh, seven in total. Seven. Okay. That's sizable. <laughs> <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a very new experience. Um, it was, and trivial. It was um, unnerving at times in terms of the preparation and yeah. um, being new to the field. Um, again, having such experienced and such senior interviewers, um, being cognizant of the fact how experienced they are and how new you are to consulting, that was mm. uh, that was something that could potentially throw you off the track. But with your help, it didn't happen. <laughs> So, um, uh, how did uh, how did the interviews feel? I mean, in terms uh, because you just uh, said, and I think this is very understandable, especially at the beginning, you might be a bit worried on whether they might like throw you curveballs and all of that that stuff, right? So, but how did it then feel in the end? Uh, the conversations that you had with the different uh, leaders at, at BCG. To be honest, they were extremely pleasant, and mm -hmm. I will. I mean, we were able to established report and I was able to, I felt that the interviewers really wanted me to succeed. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess yeah. that, would be, that would be the case with uh, every consulting candidate who applies to BCG and potentially to other MBB firms. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess they, they really do want to find the right people. They really mm -hmm. don't want the people to, they don't want everybody to fail because in that case, there will be no one to recruit. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and I did feel that kind of collaborative spirit. It didn't, it didn't at all feel like mechanical or scripted or anything like yeah. that. It, yeah. it, it was like a natural conversational flow. We obviously mm -hmm. touched on a lot of topics in my area of expertise since I'm a more experienced hire. Mm -hmm. But it was also the, the fit questions, the questions about um, you know, uh, situations, awareness, uh, more general mm -hmm. logical questions. So yeah. there was there was a bit of a blend of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so in our preparation, right, um, uh, we have essentially um, started with uh, the foundations, right, with the principles of how to rigorously attack, uh, um, yeah, strategic questions, how to think through issues in a really, really sharp and, 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 and robust way, right? So now uh, in the retrospective, right, what, what, what would you say? How has this helped you? How has this equipped you with what you needed in order to successfully go through these conversations, as you called them? Yeah. Well, in one word, tremendously. Hmm. It did help tremendously. And uh, one thing I also wanted to point out, uh, which... Obviously, apart from uh, your advices on the um, case solving methods and on the logic and the first principles, which I'm going to talk about later, mm -hmm. the one very important advice that you gave me, and which I guess will be useful for every candidate that you coach going forward, was to record the sessions. 
Mm-hmm. And yeah. I fortunately, I only got the chance to listen to the recordings after our last interview. But when I listened to them and I heard my own voice and I was like, gosh, it's, kind of, it's really difficult for me to listen to myself. I mean, yes. I was all those awkward pauses. I was breaking up um, and it was like, it was, it was a, a real challenge. So I started to work on my voice, on my mm-hmm. sort of flow of speech. I know that it's, it's difficult for many people to think on their feet as you have to often when you are in a consulting interview, you, you cannot have long pauses, right? So you have to show your flow of thinking. Yep. It was something that I had to practice. I was sort of solving cases, recording myself, and then listening to the recordings, taking notes of what needs to go, what, what went wrong, what where I can improve, where I can think quicker, where I can uh, talk faster, and it really helped, right? Mm-hmm. I think it, it, it just, I, I could see noticeably how that helped me improve. And all of that, all that thanks to your advice on record the sessions. So I yeah. think that's something that every candidate should do. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, and uh, you're very right, especially at the beginning. Um, usually it's pretty painful uh, for people to re-listen to, uh, to their own, um, yeah, to their own way of, of attacking questions, right? But it's, it's enormously helpful, right? Because it, it, it really helps you to avoid this in the future because you don't want to listen something like this again, <laughs> right? So, uh, um, so yes, and this is, uh, of course, an, an integral part of the coaching that sessions are recorded and that also the, the revision of the cases yeah. that we did together is also the precondition to then, uh, yeah, go into the next session. Yeah. Yeah. So, and content-wise, what would you say? How, how did this uh, equip you with what you needed in order to, to be successful in the interviews? So it, it really felt like um, acquiring a new superpower, I would say, because <laughs> I, I realized that when you apply these first principles, it's not just consulting. You can pretty much apply this to every decision that you need to make, every major decision you need to make in life, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm trying to define the question, trying to then um, logically structure and break it down into elements and then Mm. address each element in particular and then segment and identify trends. All of that helped me tremendously. Even in my interviews, I started to naturally, when I was asked a question, I started to naturally structure my answer based on the logic and the first principles. Even the mm-hmm. non-case questions, yeah. they can still be structured, and that's what I did. Even some very untrivial questions that were asked, they, thanks to your coaching and your trainings, they became so. Mm-hmm. This this kind of logical thinking became so institutionalized that yeah. through that thinking, I was able to answer them in a in a more structured, yeah. consulting sort of way. Yeah. So yeah. it was absolutely absolutely valuable. Awesome. And uh, I mean, at the end of the day, what you now have is also a toolkit. It's a toolkit that you will keep until the end of your career, essentially. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so um, so one th- funny thing that I want to mention is that um, uh, once we talked about uh, your, your, your interviewers and the people that you're, that you're talking to in the practice, right, then at some point I realized that one of the partners who was essentially leading the whole uh, recruiting uh, effort to get you on board, um, uh, that I know this guy. <laughs> because when I started at ECG more than 10 years ago, uh, um, it was, I think, on my, on my second project, uh, he was also on that project, and he was an intern at that time. So, uh, so it was great to see that he essentially, yeah, obviously made a great career at at, at BCG, and that he then also was uh, one of the leading figures uh, behind that uh, that whole process. Um, so, but on a more general note, um, if you uh, if you think about uh, again the people that uh, that you talked to. Um, would you say that they, so how did they come across? Did they come across like cliche consultants or was there a lot of diversity between the characters or uh, what would you say? Um, I would say it's the second. I mean, mm. 
Okay. Personally, I haven't met too many management consultants to date, um, mm. so I couldn't form like a cliche of a management consultant, but it wasn't like they, they were not like people who would just talk in bullet points, right? So <laughs> they were... <laughs> Thank very... God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they were all very nice and pleasant people. What um, I've noticed is um, they the emotional intelligence, the EQ is mm. very high with all of them, right? So it's mm. not, it's, it's not just the intellectual rigor that, mm. that comes across, but also this, um, emotional, uh, intelligence or emotional capacity. So, yeah. and they instantly made you feel at ease. And obviously all of my interviews were senior level interviews. So, yeah. uh, they instantly made me feel at ease with the way they started the, the conversations, the way they structured the conversations. It, they, they, they made it like a natural conversation, which did touch upon obviously the professional topics, mm -hmm. but it didn't feel like an examination. It yeah. didn't feel like yeah. a diagnostic. Yeah. It just, it just felt like a very interesting, a very exciting discussion. And they, they were very sort of very open about their own experiences. They, mm -hmm. they would describe, uh, they would give examples from their own career, which mm -hmm. would resonate with a particular question that they, either they would ask or they would invite you to ask. Mm -hmm. So it's, I mean, what I have seen so far in those consultants uh, and in those obviously senior people that have interviewed me is, probably the, the, the qualities that I would ideally want to see in any business counterpart, mm. yep. any, yep. any person that you would want to, uh, to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds great. So, um, have you, have you already settled on a, on a start date when you will join them? Yes. So I'm planning to start on the 1st of July, 2021. Mm -hmm. so still some months away, but yeah. uh, time flies, especially in the pandemic. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> cool. So, um, well, uh, listen. Congratulations again. I mean, uh, it's a it's a, it's a great uh, it's a great move uh, uh, in the career. I and mean, BCG is a fantastic firm. Uh, in my in my humble opinion, one of the like best places where you can essentially uh, have a career, develop yourself, be it in the long run uh, with the firm, or also in terms of even opening up new opportunities in the years to come. So, yeah. All the best. Uh, wish you the best of success, and I'm sure you're gonna you're gonna thrive. Thank you very much, Sidi, and thanks again for your coaching, for your guidance, both on case structuring as well as your common wisdom about consulting. That's that's all invaluable. <laughs> you're very welcome. Cheers.